It's Ebro in the Morning. It's new artists, new music time on Ebro in the Morning with Rosenberg. Laura Styles is on assignment. Hey. Ebro, you know I'm always out in these streets. You didn't get to this before me. Uh, no, but I did not I did see her <laughs> physically, I think, before you. Yes, that happened, because you are... We met, like, two years ago, which I don't think no. you remember. Yes, we did. Well, then guess what? Yeah. I definitely did it before you. Congratulations. Like, Congratulations. <laughs> Where did we meet two years ago? Um, at a party in L.A. with David Appleton. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. What so a you, happy app. So you were already on your grind two years he ago. He did the Chicago Kids show. Ah. Her name, by the way, this beautiful young lady right there, her name is Moxie Rea. Let's... We're, Somebody else clap. Hey, Rebecca. Shuma Shmecca. Thank you. Yo, Becky with the good hair. Clap, yeah, yo. Yeah, chill, chill, fams. Um, and you are from? I'm from New Jersey, but I moved to New York told when I was you. 13. I told you. But where'd you go to high school? In New York. In New York? In New York, yeah. Where? Hmm. At PCS. It's a performing arts high school. Right, Whereabouts? Uh, 60th in Amsterdam. See, he's trying to see that. Here's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get you to say the words Long Island. And I told him you weren't from Long Island. No. You're from Jersey. And then you went to uh, you school in Manhattan. You, you went to Columbia University. You didn't say yeah. the New York And you're, you studied jazz. Yes, I did. I said she's she went really, to. But if she went to high school and college in New York, she's really from New York. Where what in did, New Jersey are you from? Uh, Red Bank. Red Bank. That's Is like, that even uh, a real place? Monmouth County. Uh, yeah, Monmouth that's County. a real place. Okay. Real place. Chill out, man. You never I, heard of Red Bank, New Jersey? No. Should it's, I? It's very nice. I know Monmouth County. Yeah. I don't know Red Bank specifically. Well, anyway, uh, her name is Moxie Ray. She's got a record with Pusha T out the box. She's got a record with Wyclef already. Mm -hmm. um, how did all Gold these... Link. Gold Link. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Some big fans of the Gold Link record. Yeah. Um, talk to us about Columbia University because you studied music there? Mm -hmm. I studied jazz. Um, but really, the jazz program there is not just like focusing on actual, like actually making music or playing music. You study a lot of like the sociology music and how j jazz came up in america and just like jazz and culture and that that that's that's what i was most interested in honestly was the, the cult, like the aspect. actual yeah, yeah the actual history how jazz culture. affected society how society affected jazz because i'm into that with music like I, I always like socially conscious music the most did you finish school no <laughs> <laughs> so how no. far along how old are you now 25 you're 25 now. Uh -huh. But well, how long did you do school for? Like two years, two and a half years. And Why'd you quit? I left, I left in the middle because I, I got a record deal. And so I moved to California. And um, now I'm no longer in that deal. But <laughs> <laughs> Where was the first deal? It was worth it. Uh, with Capital. With Capital Records. Are you going to finish? Mm -hmm. so, you know, I always talked about like wanting to go back one day because I feel like it would be a totally different experience. Like less stressful. I wouldn't put as much pressure on myself. I would just like enjoy right. the actual learning. Um, but yeah, I would I would totally go back. Not yet. No, um, not now. Well, you're on. Are you on the Justin Bieber tour right now? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that this would be a bad time. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, I, if I'm being honest, if you're being all the way frank, if I'm being all the way frank and keeping it one thousand, I think she should finish out the Bieber tour. See what happens yeah. with this. So mm -hmm. when do you come on during the night on for the Bieber tour? First. You're out first. First. So this, let's talk about this. 7.30. It's Woo. quiet in there, ain't it? It's, no. No. No, because they're, the they're psychotic The Beavers are amazing. Really? They're, there. they're all there. By the time I'm in my third song, the entire- Wait, they're not hanging out buying merch and all that? They're sitting they're they're waiting seated and ready. Ebro, they hear me start singing and then they come in. Of course That's they do. Amazing. She's like the Pod <laughs> Piper. Um- but what's now? Are they? There's you. You have the same management as Justin Bieber, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, which is how which is how this all worked out very nicely mm -hmm. and, and makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bieber fans generally are so aware of everything mm -hmm. that they know if oh, you're they know, a, every detail. they know that you're a friend of Bieber. Yeah. So they show. Do they show extra love and give you that open mind? Because sometimes opening, if the crowd's not prepared for you, mm -hmm. can be very challenging. No. Yeah. It's true. Um, they've been really, really, really supportive. Um, I think that, I don't know, I like, I'm a girl's girl, so there's a lot of girls in the crowd, so it's easy for me to connect to girls. So, I don't know, it's been, it's been really, they've been really supportive, it's been amazing, honestly. Do you, um, do you get the sense that the crowd is a little older now? Are they still all 13, or like some of them 18 to 20 now? Like, it's a mix, honestly. It's like, there's both, you see both. Some shows you see younger kids than than others, but... Depending yeah. on the town, yeah. Depending on the town. New York is probably a little yeah. older, right? I'm sure New York will be older. I had this, oh, you tomorrow, guys haven't done New no, York No, tomorrow's yet. the first one. Um, tonight. Tonight is the first one. Where's the show tonight? Barclays. Oh, but then you're, but then it's Madison back... Madison Square Garden. In a couple July months. July 18th, 19th, yeah. Got it. So Barclays okay. tonight and then back at the Garden Wait later. Mm -hmm. How many dates are you guys doing? 64. 
64 nights. 64. And how long is your set? Uh, 25 minutes, but I usually do 30. I usually go over. Look at you. Is the shrieking ever so loud that it's like, my one Bieber concert experience was so loud. I sat in the like little area at Barclays out where, like behind where the, what's, what would you call that place? You know, like in the middle of the floor? The sound, oh. the sound like soundboard. Like the soundboard. By the oh, soundboard. soundboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm insane. Yeah, like, you know, you you feel like an old man truly because you have to cover your ears. You're like, oh, this really hurts. They never stop screaming. No, it's insane. Honestly, I, this is the first time I've been using in ears on stage. And so for the first few shows, like, you can't hear anything with those on. In between songs, I'm like, I would come off stage like crying, like, Olivia, do they say anything? Do they clap? <laughs> do they scream? I'd be like, make some noise. And you can't tell. Crickets. I'd be like, <laughs> Okay, so my next song. So um, what do you hear in here? All you hear is you and the music? And the yeah, music, and the music. Yeah. But now they're putting the audience in my ear. I like take one out to be like, to hear that people are actually re reacting. Because like, it helps you on stage to be like, are people into it? Or And musically, you're a bit different. Like, where, where would you even describe yourself musically? Um, I don't know. I'd say it has, I'm like, obviously influenced by R&B and soul music and jazz, um, hip hop. Um, she got pushed to on the I know, I know, I'm playing it. I mean, I'm saying, what do you mean? What do you, what do you, what well, do you that doesn't say? mean that she was influenced by the clips. I'm just trying to <laughs> see where she would put herself musically. She's a vocalist. Of course she's in a, she's been influenced by jazz and soul and anything else an yeah, no, amazing just, vocalist would be. Yeah, no, no, I know. She just answered that. But well, I don't understand your question. Because there are people here viewing the interview because they watch Hot 97 interviews and they see her name and they can't get a gauge on who she is By the is way, yet. I've seen almost like every Hot 97 exactly. in my whole life. So she's sit there. We appreciate there. you. She yeah, knows, I she, appreciate you. She knows <laughs> about the YouTube trolling. She's on there. Uh -huh. Do you leave YouTube comments? What do you say? <laughs> no, I don't leave any comments. I don't sign in. Exactly. Normal human beings don't, like don't do that. I don't like or unlike. You wait, just are, sit there and watch. Wait, you getting at our YouTube commenters? They're their own society, man. Don't disrespect. <laughs> even though they disrespect us on the regular, don't disrespect them. <laughs> who, but really, who do you know that comments on YouTube videos? I don't know any of them, but they watch, they listen. We like them. Agree with me right now. All right, I like them a lot. Thank I'm you. really appreciative of all of them. <laughs> so who would you say, who are, who, do, you have, do you have any people that are your all-time favorite artists? Mm-hmm. Oh, Stevie Wonder. Good okay. call. Lauren and the Fugees. Lauren's pretty good. Um... Donny Hathaway, John Coltrane, um, Temptations. You got a wow. boyfriend? Nah. Yo, Ebro, chill. She's like half your not age, Not for me, bro. not for oh. me. I, was, I thought I you mean, heard her If I was taste. single, Personal I would go Personal business. Win. But I'm Personal just saying. Personal business, Ebro. <laughs> so you may or may not be single. Mm-hmm. She, I mean, she got a joint. She yeah, got she jump got something. That she's too something. busy right now, but she's got she's a, something's a happening. smash and dash when she's got a few minutes. No, I think it could be more than that. I think it's just not official. But I think he's texting her after all the shows, like, yo, what's good? You back there? What's happening? How far away is Bieber right now? Tell him to chill. <laughs> you think it's that far? I think it could be. I'm making that up, by the way. I have no information. See, I don't think it's like that. I think she's got like a something she's kind of just been tapping for a while. Her is that own. what y'all think? That's what he thinks. I think you have a man. I think you have a borderline boyfriend. <laughs> but not giving it a title because they're so busy with their yes, careers. Exactly. What are your thoughts? The world may never know. We will you never know. Really? Are you going to keep your your love life completely private forever and ever and ever? Is that um, your plan? I well, can't make any promises, but as that's my plan. Possible. You like I feel, it? I feel like people are happier like that. It's yeah. fact. That's what, I'll give you that a fact. I'm trying to be happy. So. As much as you could be happy in a relationship. <laughs> Because you're going to have ups and downs anyway. Yo, can you right. stop with that, by the way? My, my wife and I were watching the video yesterday where you said, uh, I mean, no one's completely happy in a relationship. <laughs> and Alexa was like, "Ah, he doesn't mean that about us, does he? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course we're completely happy. What else would we be? Good no, answer. but I flipped it to her. And I went, no, no, of course you're completely satisfied all the time, right? She was like, yeah. And even though I know that's obviously not true because she's with me. I always leave something to be desired. Always. Oh, oh my God, without lower, fail. Rosenberg, lower the bar. Oh, I lower the bar in the worst way. I, I, <laughs> I, I chase, 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 and then when I get you, eventually I'm like, oh, and then I'm a disappointment. Um, <laughs> Moxie Ray is her name. Uh, what's in your music? What do you write about? What do you sing about? Do you write all your music first? Mm -hmm. Write or, or co-write with my friends. But um, yeah, uh, just my life experiences, honestly. Um, the mixtape was just basically the past year, what I was going through, what I was thinking about. Um, the album I'm working on now, actually, um, it is more like socially conscious. I like to, I want to talk about like 
real social issues and put all that in the music. So like I just did a song with James Fauntleroy about prison reform and I just did a song about making love with the intention of having a child <laughs> because I feel like people talk Yo, about she's this is getting deeper than rap. People talk about you know, can you curse on here? Yep, oh. talk about it. People talk about fucking all the time, right. but they forget that that action is like so, what creates children, which is like the most beautiful thing in the world. So I just wrote a song about that. That's really funny that you say that because I have this very nerdy belief. Like my 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 list of women I've slept with is not as high as I would have probably liked it to be. <laughs> but I, I got to the point where I was like, even if it's a somewhat casual thing, could I have a child with this person if a child was born? Right? Because mm -hmm. that is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. the, we cannot argue that. You don't have to be religious. I'm just waiting for you to get to where you where are you going here? Where are you going? So I'm just, I feel where she's coming from with the mm -hmm. idea that if you're willing to put your penis inside a vagina. You should be prepared. That That is a possible, that's what the point of it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without being religious. You get to a point in your life. I got to that point after being a just a scumbag animal for... <laughs> a long time that you get to a point where it's like, look, if I'm going to have sex with somebody, because I've had plenty. Right. That, know that this could lead to a child. Know that this individual that I'm going to have continual sex with over a long period of time could lead I to mean, a child. I mean, even once, mm -hmm. though. Even if it only happens once, no, that's you what should I mean. know there could be a baby. Yeah, I got to that. You get to that point if you've gotten it out of your system. Can you give us some mm -hmm. of the words from this song? Give us a little bit of the feel? Yeah, it starts And can you say like... fuck again a couple more times? <laughs> Ebro. Sorry. Just saying. There's she's hot and part... she said fuck and she's talking about fucking. Just There's one part that's talking to a a kid or a girl or a boy is like, Oh girl, do you know what you're made of? Do you know what you're made of? Boy, boy, do you know what you're made of? It's just about, you know, you're made of love. Well, vocals. <laughs> Real vocals. She dropped bars on it, but I want to hear what the words. I want to hear more. I want to know more. Wait, I, I got, it's from the album. I got to keep it. All right, you got it. All right, okay, fine. I'll just have to assume where it goes after that. Mm -hmm. What is your ethnic background? Because your name it's is different. Italian. And is your name real? My my last name is real. Ray You're, is my real last name. And how did you get? Moxie's a nickname. How, why? My friend Eric started calling me Moxie in high school. For what? Because you got Dude, a lot of Moxie. Yeah. So kick your ass. I like moved out of my parents' house when I was thirteen. He thought that you know there's a few reasons, but he started calling me Moxie, and I was like, I love that word. He was like, you should use that as your artist name, and it's stuck. That's it. Are you and your parents good now? Now we. Ask my Chester about my parents right now. Why not? We had, no, we had an amazing night last night. Really? Like, really, after I had a show at SOB's and um, my dad has a restaurant, an Italian restaurant. So he took all, us all out to dinner and, oh, oh man. Really good. I'm feeling it today. No, oh, oh. alcohol, food, chicken, parmesan, pizza. Oh, you spaghetti. went in with the parents. Oh, it was really, it was really incredible. <laughs> my oh, that's dad fantastic. Was on well, shout out to dad so getting lit. Moxie wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That sounds fun. <laughs> Her name is Moxie Reyes. A dope record. Nice meeting you. Congratulations on Thank your you success. So much. We Thank hope you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.